An airborne early warning and control. Our AEWNC system is an airborne radar early warning system designed to detect aircraft, ships, vehicles, missiles, and other incoming projectiles at long ranges, as well as performing command and control of the battle space in aerial engagements by informing and directing friendly fighter and attack aircraft. AEWNC units are also used to carry out aerial surveillance over ground and maritime targets and frequently perform battle management command and control. When used at altitude, the radar system on AEWNC aircraft allows the operators to detect, track, and prioritize targets and identify friendly aircraft from hostile ones in real time and from much farther away than ground based radars. At number 1, the E-2 Hawkeye The E-2 Hawkeye is the most common type of anti-aircraft weapon and control system that is currently in use. It is utilized by the air forces of Egypt, Japan and Taiwan, as well as by the Navy of France and the United States as a carrier-based asset. Among these countries, we have a total of 96 copies of the twin-engine type that are currently in active service and the United States Navy is expected to receive at least 36 additional examples of the D model. The updated version has the capability to act as an airborne war management platform, which is expanded upon these capabilities. The Boeing E-3 Sentry is an American airborne early warning and control AEWNC aircraft developed by Boeing. E-3s are commonly known as AWACS airborne warning and control system. Derived from the Boeing 707 airliner, it provides all-weather surveillance, command, control, and communications, and it is used by the United States Air Force, NATO, French Air and Space Force, Royal Saudi Air Force, and Chilean Air Force. The E-3 has a distinctive rotating radar dome, rotodome, above the fuselage. Production ended in 1992, after 68 aircraft had been built. Number 3. The Bereave A-50 the Bereave A-50 is a Soviet-origin airborne early warning and control aircraft that is based on the Ilyushin Il-76 transport plane. Developed to replace the Tupolev Tu-126 MOS, the A-50 first flew in 1978. It entered service in 1985 with about 40 produced by 1992. Russian Air Force is operating a fleet of 21 Ilyushin Il-76-based Bereave A-50 AEW and C platforms. India has also an active inventory of three of the same type, with two more on order. China's Air Force also used the Il-76 as the basis for its own system, named the KJ-2000, and has five in its fleet. At number 4, the Kham of KA-31 The Kham of KA-31 NATO reporting name, Helix, is a military helicopter originally developed for the Soviet Navy and currently in service in Russia, China, and India in the Naval Airborne Early Warning and Control role. Described as a radar picket, the ship or land-based KA-31 carries a deployable rotating array beneath its fuselage, which allows its crew to scan an area around a Navy surface fleet for airborne and maritime threats. The type is used only by the navies of China, India, and Russia, with Ascend recording these as having a respective 9, 14, and 3 in service. At number 5, the SAP area. Our fifth place entry for a Swedish developed mission system and radar which has so far been adapted for use abroad a trial of airframe types. It uses active electronically scanned array technology. The area is used on a variety of aircraft platforms such as the SAP 340 and Embraer R99. A combined 20 AEW and C aircraft in these models are flown by Sweden, Brazil, Greece, Mexico, Pakistan, Thailand, and the United Arab Emirates. A similar looking antenna array has been developed independently by India and also mounted atop the ERJ 145. The radar provides 300 degree coverage and has an instrumental range of 450 kilometers and detection range of 350 kilometers in a dense hostile electronic warfare environment. At number 6, the Boeing E 7 Wedge Tail. The Boeing E-7 Wedge Tail is a twin-engine airborne early warning and control aircraft based on the Boeing 737 next-generation design. 
It has a fixed, active electronically scanned array radar antenna instead of rotating one as with the Boeing E3 Sentry. Australia has the largest fleet with six wedge-tail aircraft. The Boeing E7 wedge-tail has also been selected by the Turkish Air Force, the Republic of Korea Air Force and the United Kingdom. In April 2022, the United States Air Force announced that the E-7 will be replacing the E-3 beginning in 2027. At number 7, the Shanxi Y-8. The Shanxi Y-8, also known as the Yunshu G-8, is a medium-sized, medium-range transport aircraft that has become one of China's most popular military and commercial transport cargo aircraft, with numerous modifications manufactured and exported. With the same installed fleet size as Boeing E-7 Wedgetail, China's early warning version of the Shanxi Y-8 is designated KJ-200 by the country's military services. Beijing's Air Force has seven, while the Navy has three. Pakistan Air Force has also purchased three versions, with the fourth on order, and refers to the type as ZDK-03. At number eight, the WS-61 Sea King. The Westland WS-61 Sea King is a British license-built version of the American Sikorsky S-61 helicopter of the same name. The aircraft differs considerably from the American version, with the Rolls-Royce GNOME engines, British-made anti-submarine warfare systems, and a fully computerized flight control system. The Sea King was primarily designed for performing anti-submarine warfare missions. A Sea King variant known as the Commando was developed by Westland to serve as a troop transport. On 26 September 2018, the last remaining Sea King variant in Royal Navy service was retired. Most operators have replaced or are planning to replace the Sea King with more modern helicopters. At number 9, the ELW-2085. The ELW-2085 is an airborne early warning and control multiband radar system that is installed on Gulfstream G550 aircraft developed by Israel Aerospace Industries and Alta Electronics Industries of Israel. Its primary objective is to provide intelligence to maintain air superiority and conduct surveillance. The system is currently in service with Israel, Italy and Singapore. Up to 1,000 targets can be tracked simultaneously to a range of 450 kilometers, while at the same time multitudes of air-to-air -air interceptions or air-to-surface attacks can be guided simultaneously. The Boeing E-767 is an airborne warning and control system aircraft developed in answer to the Japan Air Self-Defense Forces specifications. Boeing's experience providing the Boeing E-3 AWACS prompted the corporation to build a similar system based on its newer Boeing 767 platform. Japan was the only country to purchase the type, and it now operates four E-767 variants as well as an equal number of KC-767 tankers. With this, The Buzz is signing off for today, but we'd appreciate if you hit that notification and subscribe button for more interesting videos from The Buzz. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.